everybody, welcome to a 1v1 that I'll be casting online. <coughs> so I am really ill, if you uh, don't know. Anyway, I'm going to be casting a 1v1 online. Uh, these, this is a pro-ish uh, pro game, the both players are 1800 rated. But I'm just going to introduce the players, it's 1v1 on uh, the map of Arabia. Yep. So playing in the blue is the Byzantine as Ataturk. Uh, uh, he's Turkish just like me and uh, to the south of the map we have in green Byzantine players and Nathaniel so this is a Byzantine war people both players are scouting with their sheep I believe yep all scouts with their sheep which is jolly good uh, <coughs> is he scouted better uh, I think Nathaniel has it I'm really Ill if you uh, I apologize <coughs> I will be coughing, sneezing, uh, no, doing all sorts of jazz. But anyway, uh, I'll just blow my nose very quickly. I apologize so much. Oh. I'm really ill, and I'm still going to cast this for you guys. So, yeah. Well, good. So, taking Jake and Sheep, uh, we'll see what, what, see what uh, both players can do. The fan, I think, is more, uh, yeah, the fan, you going more uh, efficient. Oh god. Hang on one minute. One minute. Ah. <laughs> okay, I just blown my nose. That will last me for like five minutes. Then I have to blow it again. But anyway, back to the game. Sorry if you can hear if you can now you find it disgusting, I apologize. But anyway, Nathaniel with my population out of took with eleven. I just think has the hand, I'm not sure why his score is lower. Uh, <coughs> perhaps uh, he didn't scout as much as Nathaniel did. Yeah, Nathaniel scouts more, but I still think I just should have the lead because he has more villagers. He, he, has, uh, he has no villagers being killed. Oh, whoops. Uh, wait, this is Nathaniel, isn't it? Whoops. Yeah, he has villagers being killed. Oh, good. Um, Nathaniel, let's see if he has any villagers queued. queued. Yep, he's having villagers. He's going to take the forge bush net right now. Perhaps he can wall that. Let's take a look at their maps. Now, this is easy to wall. Just two houses will wall that up. This one is a pro probably a bit of a pain to wall, but <coughs> archery rangers' houses, palisades, uh, barracks, um, stables, blacksmiths can wall that uh, can wall that up with no with no problem, and that's bad. Uh, you should uh, put your no one tile away from the from the forge bushes. But anyway, just to point that out. Well, you, you don't have to. You say he's doing the same, but you don't have to. You're just more efficient. But let's take a look at uh, Arthur Turk's map. Arthur Turk's map is horrible. I think uh, his gold is very far away. Could be very easy to counter. Uh, let's take a look at. Nathaniel's gold. Nathaniel's gold is also, also very bad out on the front, on, a, on top of a hill. So it's on the bottom of a hill, archers again could pick off villagers very easily because of the hill advantage. Uh, but anyway, back, back to other uh, ruling His ruling is pretty bad. Maybe uh, two houses there. This will take quite a lot of palisades. Wall this, wall that. And then you have all this to wall as well. And Nathaniel's just wall that. That's already walled off by the cliff. I don't know what you gotta do is do, do this. That's already walled, so from here to there. So I'll give a map advantage to Nathaniel. Okay. Uh, taking ball Nathaniel, uh, <coughs> he got, he's got a second ball run. Uh, what about Atatuk? Oh, we're, we're on Atatuk. Uh, uh, he already has one ball in. He's going for a second right now. So Nathaniel, Nathaniel ahead. 17 villages for Atatuk and. 17 for Nathaniel, so these guys are literally head on head, but Nathaniel just has more resources, I believe. Uh, yep, no, uh, other two going for, uh, going for the fourth house. We'll see, we'll see what these guys can do, because they can obviously choose, uh, lots of, oh, no, take a look at this, will he lose his scout? Oh, that's such a shame. Nathaniel lost his scout there. That is absolutely huge. Huge win for Atatürk there. But he's luring in his deboar, uh, uh, sorry, the deer, and this deer is not being taken for some reason. I'll support Atatürk because he's Turkish like me, so yeah. yeah. 
bias, yeah. I know, shut up, okay. Uh, Nathaniel closing up the gap here. Uh, <coughs> is he gonna start a war over here? Nope, he isn't. He's, uh, uh, he's uh, gotta build a mine camp. So he's take some stone early. Uh, oh, no, no, he's gonna get a lumber camp down there. That's a bit of a bad position, but, uh, if you ask me. A bit far away, could be very easy for Ataturk to raid. Ataturk, however, uh, he's closer to feudal. Ataturk. Yeah, uh, Nathaniel's closer to feudal, but he's not gonna. He's probably gonna make some uh, villages. Uh, little houses uh, for Ataturk. 22 population to Nathaniel's 21, so Ataturk has an upper hand. So I, I still think Ataturk, why is he not ahead? Because he took out the scout, he has an extra villages, and he, he overall has a better economy. Is he gonna advance to feudal? I think he's gonna click up now. Yep, Ataturk advanced to feudal. Nathaniel, he's so he's, he's well off feudal. <coughs> but what, what, why, what am I doing? Uh, he's gonna create this villager. And is he gonna click up to feudal? He's very close. Uh, oh, he tried garrison, not it was still not enough food. These villages should complete off. And that's feud wage. Oh no. <laughs> he's probably shouting right now. No. Basically, he's gonna go. He's just gonna create that extra villager. One more villager. Well, Arthur took some 22. Arthur took, however, is <coughs> half, literally 40% done. The fan rules probably just gonna click up now. Oh, god damn it. Uh, he's, he has enough food here and he's gonna start his ruling. He's gonna put up a barracks. Does Otto took out a barracks? No, he does Oh, yeah, he just completed his. We could see he had some Dark Age fighting going on. We'll see what happens. Otto took the. has a scout advantage. You can see what's going on. And you can see there's a barracks here. Oh, he's gonna go head on here with that villager. Of course, uh, he could have fought that villager if he had the hill advantage. Uh, making that villager a bit idle. But uh, anyway, Nathaniel's clicking up to feudal. Otto took is literally yeah, he's finished feudal. He's finished the research. He's in feudal now. And is he gonna build a market a blacksmith? That's what I do normally. Uh, builder. There you go. Archer range. Oh, interesting. He's gonna go for some archer rush perhaps. Palisade ruling for green. But I want to keep my own Otto took because he's he's getting his archer range up. Uh, interesting uh, to see. He uh, he's created some spearmen. For some reason, I'm not sure why. Uh, Nathaniel, is he creating anything for the barracks? No, he's not. 50% uh, done. Uh, if Ataturk can get some archers in right now, that'll be absolutely. He's going to create some skirmishes. So he's going for like a trash, uh, trash assault on, uh, trash rush on uh, Nathaniel here. Let's see what damage he can do. He's housed. That's so bad. Nathaniel. <clears throat> he's just advanced a few of these villages are idle for a sec. I saw that. Minor camp going up like that. He's just one of this part of really, really nicely. Well, I think uh, Ataturk's going to go on the offensive. Perhaps he can do some scout rushes uh, if he's going to do a rush. This village is going to go off to build something. And a blacksmith, okay. Interesting, interesting. We'll see what he can do. Just wipe my nose again. As I said, it would last me a few minutes, but yeah. Oh good, sorry about that. Okay. He's building his archery range too. Perhaps these guys are looking for a funeral. He's gonna send some skirmishes down. Let's just take a quick look at what he's creating. He's creating more skirmishes, no no spearmen at this time. Okay, uh if I just take a quick look at him. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> As you can see, this is being live because because I can't pause it, I can't do anything with it. This is happening live. He also have a scout as well, which uh, if yeah, he's going to create some archers from skirmishes. He's going to create anything from the barracks. No, it doesn't look like it. But those archers aren't going to do much against skirmishes, and, and that skirmish is not going to do much against cavalry. Uh, <coughs> so Spear going to stay back at home just in case he sends an archer rush and uh, sorry a scout rush. Um, yeah, he has, a, he has an archer queued in that in that air in that uh, arch range. That villager is getting attacked. Nope, not gonna go down there. Not happening today. Uh, is he gonna create any other anything else than uh, uh, than skirmishes? Because he looks like he just, he just created skirmishes. Okay, 
the skirmishes for now. Is he getting any upgrades? Is that no, he is not. Nothing is upgraded yet. Nathaniel, however, is his uh, unit is upgraded there. Yeah. Does he even have a blacksmith? Uh, I think it's, yeah, he's just building his blacksmith. So, <coughs> and we can see that uh, that uh, Atatürk has a uh, lead. Uh, well, Nathaniel's just taken over. I think is uh, he has more population at the moment. No, Atatürk does. I think Atatürk is dominating this game so far. He's the higher rated player. Anyway, uh, f village going for us to uh, build a watchtower. Interesting, interesting. This wall's finished. Uh, uh, I think he should have walked this. Deal. This, if he placed this watchtower over there, that will cause so much problem for these villagers here. Just place that down there. Uh, he's not going to do anything to count. So you have, you have uh, units to back up your, to back up your, uh, <coughs> to back up your. Uh, what's it called? Uh, your your village is building that watch tower. You should have just put it here that gold that would would take so much effort to come back down here. I mean that's his only gold power that's really close to him, that's safe. Yeah that is. <coughs> yeah this watch tower is gonna kill one skirmisher and an archer. Again just place it there, come on man. Oh it is reaching the villages though. Interesting. Perhaps a villager there. Does he have fletching? Uh, he's, if he gets fletching, that would be so nice. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm really up. Okay, uh. Well, what is Otatuk doing, meanwhile? Well, Otatuk, arch food, arch range, and a mining camp. Ooh. Interesting. Send him more skirmishes down. He's gonna save so much uh, gold like this. These skirmishes are they being upgraded? Uh, no, they have defensively upgraded and the scouts. Uh, yeah, no, no. Uh, okay, uh, um, the fan you just researched Paz Archer and he got and he got an attack upgrade. So we'll see, we'll see what, what this turns out to be like. Okay, he actually has people queued in the barracks, which is interesting. What does he have? He has spearmen and he's housed the fan which will, uh, which will delay his uh, uh, military production. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, uh, tower battle. We'll see who wins. <coughs> oh, uh, why does he? Oh, I thought. Oh, that's not gonna mind. Okay, uh. Yeah, this, this tower's gonna win. Is he even attacking the tower? No, he's, no, he's not. Okay, he's doing one damage to that tower somehow. Okay, I, I don't know. <coughs> I have no idea how that tower's taking one damage yet. Okay, uh, and if I can actually probably hold this off if he can, if he can take out that tower. You can hold this off really easily. Atatürk is still not close to castle. Well, he is close to castle. He, does he have a market? No, he doesn't. Uh, he has quite a bit of woodcutters. Uh, there we go. Atatürk researching castle, which is a fanual, still in feudal and housed. Uh, if Atatürk can get into castle age and he can pump out some knights, that would be absolutely huge advantage. Uh, uh, he does. He does have a stable though. Uh, he's getting some stone now. Perhaps throw up a fort castle. Uh, Nathaniel still a feudal age. Uh, okay, back to the violence. Okay, a skirmish of battles real. <coughs> it is. Uh, I think the tower is repaired, but. Wait, what? What is going on? This 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 tower's on a hill, and this tower's still taking less damage. Okay, that's very interesting. I don't know what's going on there. Perhaps his uh, archers in the tower is stronger. Uh, yeah, his archers in the tower is stronger. I guess. Uh, well, not stronger, I mean, like, more accurate. 
I'll have to go uh, nearly to castle and the fan was clicking up to castle as well. Could this end in the castle as you will see? We'll see. You should probably close this gap up. Or perhaps even close this one up because it he can just flank with some lights, get into that eco then GG. This early if you get your yeah, eco crushed like that it's really bad. I'll to turn back at home does he have any uh uh stables? He's really just gonna build something. He's a repairer. Okay. Uh Nathaniel really close to car Sage. <coughs> Well, trash units are uh, very cheap for the Byzantine, so I guess uh, he, uh, they have a, a choice to use that. Well, not trash units, because uh, Hussar is a trash unit when uh, when they don't get fr uh, cheaper Hussars, they get cheaper Camels. So ch camels are not a trash unit because they cost gold. Uh, does he have any stables up? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, what's this? Well, he has a stable up, but you got to look for some knights. You just tell he's going down somehow. I don't understand what's going on. View the magic. So I think. Uh, hang on. Uh, he he just up, uh, upgraded to his skirmishers. He has uh, 17. Uh, to the Faniel's 17. Oh, so uh, oh, oh, 29. In fact, the Faniel has a number of arch, but he has a technologically. I'll say technologically a better, or better soldier of arch. But siege works coming up from the Faniel. If we could get a Magno out and take out those skirmishes, that would be absolutely epic. <clears throat> the Fanny's taken school lead, but yet knights are coming out for Ataturk. Knights, are they getting upgraded? No, upgrade those knights. Ah, uh, I miss these. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay. Uh, look at right, they're being work. Oh, uh, idle farms here. <laughs> Took. He's going to create some more knights. He's going to do another push. He just upgraded. Uh, the value just upgraded to uh, elite skirmish. I'm just going to blow my nose again. One more. Okay. When when your opponent has knights, like uh, I took those new skirmish are absolutely useful. But that's not enough knights, I'm afraid. And 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 uh, Bill has lack uh, lack uh, bloodline as well. Okay, uh, you might hear my mic moving because I'm turning, I'm putting, I'm putting my mic away so you don't hear me uh, blowing my nose. Because you could, uh, like, you know, uh, make some uh, viewers like, uh, like, you know, throw up. Uh, that's not my intent. Oh, he's gonna put, he's gonna start wearing that part off. I think uh, if he can just get the knights up through there, through the siege workshop going up for Ataturk as well. Nathaniel, uh, Nathaniel, Nathaniel, Nathaniel. 85 can use a population advantage and a military advantage to a small military. I think he's not, he's going to still stay with archers, uh, he's not making any mangonels, uh, barracks. He's going to probably make uh, skirt uh, pikemen, being researched to counter those knights. I think Nathaniel got this because he has a perfect army composition. He has lots of, uh, lots of skirmishes compared to his little, uh, group of skirmishes and he has spearmen to counter those knights. Ataturk, back to Ataturk, ATC is using, he's losing units really rapidly, which is not good. Gold miners here, uh, he's collecting lots of gold, as you can, oh, wait, what, I will run Ataturk, uh, see how, how, okay, second TC coming up for Ataturk, oh, third TC in fact, uh, what about from the final, he's still on his first, uh, <coughs> Oh, this is always good having a uh, war. Two, two Magnos out. Oh, is that gonna. Oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Pike no more. That's just going to. It's just going to uh, take out that Magnus. Oh, God's sake, no. Uh, okay, uh, so uh, my friend just uh, 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 invited me to play Age of Empires. Oh, and that Magnus. Oh, could. Is that gonna take out the tower? This Magnus was shot. Oh, and that mangano has gone. GG. Um, yep, uh, I just lost all his army. And that, 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 that mangano was going down, his screaming timber, and job done. That was a failed attack by Ataturk. He's gonna build a sec, sec, uh, third, second. Okay, he's gonna build three archer ranges. Obviously, Nathaniel does have a f three. 
three or uh, three archer range so you can produce you know just quick and the fact you want to counter attack how many archers does this guy have good okay um, take a look at the military map for a sec he has 40 archers um, he has a much larger military than us too and these stone miners aren't going to do much out he does not have enough for a castle unfortunately so these scums are going to do some damage we should get some bloodlines as well uh, sorry not bloodlines uh, ballistics they're not they're not cavalry archers are they it's not a hunt war unfortunately hunt war is always nice to watch lumber camp go a full lumber camp going up for uh for uh, us to uh the rainbow doesn't does not really have that much uh, uh, wood. But anyway, uh, these skirmishes are going to be forced back by that town centre. A knight's coming out. That's not going to do much against this much group of skirmishes. Just 40 skirmishes there, I believe. As said, uh, he only has three cavalry and two infantry. There's other two compared to the Faniel's <coughs> 46 range range units, 11 infantry and two siege units. So this, uh, this is go uh, uh, this is probably a go uh, on Nathaniel's hands, I think. Let's get this back up. Uh, yeah, I think Nathaniel has this. He has two mangonels out. Uh, <coughs> These knights are going to be chasing all the skirmishes, but again, as I said, they're not going to do much. I don't even upgrade it. Uh, of what you do upgrade those knights these these skirmishes are fully upgraded for their castle age Nathaniel okay he's housed he's housed perhaps he should stop making military and advance to imperial we'll see what happens and why can't why do skirmishes have limited attack they have they have spears and they throw spears if a knight comes close to them stab the knight god damn it uh, it's, it doesn't take uh it doesn't take care uh, like uh 50 brain cells to think of that and that's his works it's going down for Ataturk Ataturk is good absolute hell for him now uh, it started off really well for Ataturk he managed to uh, managed to send uh, a lot uh, he managed to uh, kill uh, kill Nathaniel's well not kill but uh, put some pressure on Nathaniel at the start of that now Nathaniel's doing the exact opposite now I think this is GG He's forcing uh, villagers off that farm, farm like farm patch. Uh, he could poss possibly go for the gold now. Uh, sorry, the, the, the wood. Then uh, not go close to the TC, but um, where's, his, where's his main gold? Oh, near the TC. So I was gonna say he could go for gold, but nah. And I thought he'd do something really well here. He's warding off the, like the sides of what? Why is he doing that? Even though there's a gap there, but why did he do that? Because if uh, uh, if that you know, happen, us to go past places. Uh, sorry, uh, the family can go past places. Archers here and kill his villages while they collect food and food. Uh, words. Uh, Arabia has these little o o oases that no one likes. No one really likes this. These little oases, but that's good uh, timing for Matter Two. Good ruling. He can't get past that now unless he shoots her, like six times. A Mangonel coming up for us to could he turn the tide? This mangonel could change could change this game, but no, I don't think so. Even if that mangonel get managed to get a shot, these guys are gonna push. But this mangonel going up. Let's see what damage this mangonel can do. It's just uh, really just gonna probably uh, try to repair the mangonel if it gets shot. And oh, and oh, that's not gonna do that. It didn't do too much damage, but it did some. Okay, okay, that that did that killed a few. <coughs> oh, let's see what he can do. Oh. He's perhaps going to change the tide, and yet all these skirmishes are going down. I don't think uh, Nathaniel realizes this. Okay, now he does. He's too close. Yeah, he's going to take out the thing. Now he's going to take out the man. Now uh, he did kill lots of uh, Nathaniel's units. Though, with Nathaniel, what are you doing, son? He's going to try to keep this man. Now, come on. We all like man. Now, shots. Um, why is this guy repairing? Thing? And oh, and that's it. Oh, brilliant shot. We, we all saw that man, that was absolutely brilliant. But uh, Nathaniel here in the uh, south side, still pushing on, he got crossbowmen. Uh, going to Nathaniel's point of view, he has a huge military now. Uh, <coughs> oops. Uh, some crossbowmen coming out. Uh, Mangonel's coming out, pipe. 
the pipeman coming out. Uh, is he gonna make any uh, uh, cavalry? I'm not, I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, do do Byzantines get our? Yeah, they do get our blessed. Interesting, interesting. So they, perhaps they can transition into our blessed. That's uh, Nathaniel's idea. We have so much archers, why not get our blessed? But he has a Mangonel. Probably take a shot on those pikemen. Those those are trash units. They'll go down quick to Mangonels. Oh, uh, that's not gonna happen. He's yeah, they're they're really well upgraded, but still he's gonna go, get a few. Castle going up fast too. Uh, We'll see if he's hoping that that can take out, uh, that can stop an attack. But uh, I think it's too much. The fan news gonna send the villagers to take out that Mangonel and bang. Oh, that's a shame. And Castle going up, uh, that, that pike is gonna die. Or is he, is he not? Yeah, he's gonna die, unfortunately. Have fun, rest in peace. Well, uh, Skirmish is really good against, uh, both, uh, uh, both uh, pikemen and uh, crossbowmen, so I don't think uh, Nathaniel has a really good answer except for mangonels. But again, uh, Arthur can create mangonels on his own. <laughs> uh, excuse me, I, I need I need to blow my nose again. Sorry. <coughs> okay, okay, back. I really put all oh, these bodies are still there. Not good, not good. This Mangonel still here, is he gonna get a shot? No, he- Oh, he did some damage though. Oh, there you go. Uh, that pipe was nearly dead. He's gonna try to get that Mangonel out. Come on, take it out, come on. Let's see if he can- Oh, he has two mang- Oh, yeah, he has two Mangonels. Ooh. And... Um, oh, he nearly lost that one there too. Just one Pikeman hit, that's gone. Well, let's see- Oh, that castle saved it. <coughs> Lots of minor villages by Arthur took though. Um, the fan was playing absolutely really well here. Uh, really, really well. <coughs> Arthur took is like a hundred you know, better than uh, the fan, but the fan was doing very well. You never judge a book by its cover, they said. I always say that. Uh, <coughs> so yeah. But uh. I still looks like he's actually winning when you look at the map, but oh, he's cross over and coming here. He's gonna do lots of damage. Oh, come on, let's see what he can do. Uh, the, all these villages are dead meats. They're gonna die. All of them are dead. One shot, that's it. They're dead. All oh, two sniped off. That's too much for That's just too much losses. And um, he, he can break through now. Uh, this cast just uh, stopping him. I thought, it, what is he planning to do? Is he going to Imperial? No, he's not. Nathaniel nor going to Imperial. No players, none of the players uh, are close to Imperial. But this this group of crossbow are going to do so much. Oh no. Too much village are being lost here. Come on. No, oh, man. You don't, you don't do this to innocent people. Come on. What did they ever do to you? <clears throat> you don't know those skirmishes aren't going to do much. There's no need for a retreat. Those skirmishes are going to die. Uh, uh, let's take a look at the southern side. Yeah, too much Mangonels to deal with now. Too much uh, crossbow. Full castle going up for Nathaniel. Artatuk, however, uh, he's going Imperial. Artatuk's going Imperial. He's going to say, I'm, ho I'm holding on. He's going to go Imperial. Let's see what he can do. If I was him, I'd need some Cataphracts to deal with uh, these pikemen because Cataphracts uh, have attack bonuses as well as infantry. Okay, oh, oh, he's creating cavalry archer. I think that's by mistake. Council knows no. I think that's a mistake. I, I, I really, you no, know, when we get heavy cavalry archer, I'm not sure. I think that's a mistake, though. Uh, I will not use heavy cavalry archers against uh, crossbowmen, skirmishers, etc. These, these crossbowmen are going to be forced back by uh, too much uh, skirmishers. Uh, uh, let's take a look. Uh, <coughs> I'm not sure. I don't know why he's retreating. The Thaniel's going up to Imperial as well. It's over for Artatuk, I think. Uh, if you can get that castle out, get a trip, knock down that castle, go into his economy, and GG. And we'll see, this is actually a very nice game to watch. I am really enjoying it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, 
sometimes spectating games is pro is more fun than playing the game because when you get your ass battered uh, while you play the game, it's kind of boring, isn't it? Okay, and Nathaniel, uh, Nathaniel has a pike one up here. We'll go for villagers, they're not really a raiding you, are they? And Cavi Archer, he's not reacting out. I think he made the my mistake, I'm not sure. Mangan, I'll come out, bro. <coughs> I, really, I can't believe I'm ill, man. Uh, this country would be much better if I wasn't ill. Uh, but I, I, I remember those orange shots back. I took brilliant, brilliant shot. Uh, uh, anyway, I took is it a pair of first up? Oh, and well, that, that guy's going down. <coughs> well, and oh no! As the fan just uh, clicked up, so Imperial, what is Atatuk doing? Let's take a quick look. He's gonna get our burst, he's gonna get. Uh, let's see what he's gonna get. Catchfax coming out, uh, just as I said. He's actually created some cavalry arches, I'm not sure why. Brace are being researched, that's gonna give him an upper hand, because uh, the fan just advanced to Imperial, so he's gonna have to get Brace, and um, that, that was gonna cost valuable seconds. Uh, but again, the numbers that uh, the fan has. Which is too much, you know. Uh, the fan, uh, uh, sorry, Atatürk has too little, has too little units, and it's too late. But Cap Ram's coming in. He's not going to create. Uh, oh, he's created trebuchets. Let's see how much she has queued up. Uh, conscription coming out. Uh, coming out. No, not coming out. Conscription being researched. The Cap Ram's going to take out this castle. This castle's going down. On the jet, but that's not going to do much against Cap Rams. Uh, ooh, that's maybe two hits. <coughs> this castle's definitely going down, though. Yeah, this castle's going down very, very quickly. This trebuchet is going to fire at the castle. This was too much in the family unit, and it's over pretty much. It is over. I'd swear, I'd resign by now. It's over. If it was a team game, I would try to survive longer, but this is 1v1, and yeah, it's not going to really, gonna be, uh, it's not gonna really, uh, it's not going to really be worth uh, running away. And that cast is gone, and GG, well played. Arthur took resigns. Oh, no, just I can't type. Okay, never mind. I was going to type GG as well. But anyway, thank you ever so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a really, really awesome game to watch, and love, and I uh, enjoyed spectating it. If you like, if you like my, my videos, please subscribe. And, and my commentaries, uh, commentaries are normal. Like this. I'm just ill. With my you can tell that my nose is my nose is blocked and stuff. So yeah, I uh, thank you for watching so much, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.